Hello, Jessica here. Today I'm going to be doing a reading and I'm going to use my Lenormand deck to figure out what reading we are going to do. So let's get what the theme is. What are we going to talk about in this reading? So I just want to know um, like what problem the collective is having or whichever problem you guys want to have come through. Um, whatever message needs to get relayed, let's see. Okay, we got the book. So it is something about knowledge, something about wisdoms. You could be writing a book. You could be creating something. Um, it could be a like law and justice type problem. Um, so it's something... <clears throat> Something that could potentially um, change history or impact history in some way because it's going to be a significant. Okay. Okay, so um, your emotions are clearing. So you had some kind of. Um, thing going on maybe it's the justice system maybe it's with a project you got and you are now being cleared of um, the illusion so in my case I have been writing um, books and stuff that I want to publish but I have just had so much mental anguish and confusion and frustration that I just have not been putting forth the effort and Multiple things have happened in my life that are getting me more in the groove of working with cards again and making these readings. So I am trying to stick to it. Um, so because of this, because it's this kind of a situation, um, I'm going to use the Believe in Your Own Magic deck. So because it just seems like your light was dimmed. Um, for a really long time so you're starting to paint that passion that initial feeling that you were excited you're about to bring that back into your life um, so here's another card <clears throat> with you creating a light or holding that light in your hands so again this could be some kind of situation where you were powerless and now you are getting that power back okay this one says justice is coming this one says wings you never needed those to fly so it seems like you're taking that leap of faith after that tower moment you're looking in your closet you're seeing what you got in your arsenal um, because maybe you were in a difficult situation and you got out so now you're like, okay, so now that that's over, I'm ready to paint that picture of my life again my way. I'm ready to get away from that darkness that I don't want to be around anymore. Because you're not. We are conditioned by the people we grew up with, the people we're around. Um, we learn those behaviors. So it's not your fault if you grew up in a household with people who are stressed out all the time. You gotta learn how to not allow the stress to hinder you anymore and work through it before it's a big problem. Okay, tower, unplug and relax for a spell, and gold, you don't need someone else to fix you. So definitely, you're learning your stability now. Maybe you are having moments alone in your home, intimate moments where you're realizing like, I love this place. Like, I'm so glad that all these blessings occurred in my life. <clears throat> so that's all happening. Um, and so the universe wants me to use these Archangel Tarot cards to finish this off. So my next question is going to be, you know, what... What do you want us to do to move forward? So I've already confirmed that you have this project or you have this thing that's been going on for almost a decade that has just been in the process, been in the process. So it could be 
you moving forward in life, trying to get your own place, trying to have like the car, the home, the financial stability, the career, like it just feels like everything you've been working on or all the things you've been hoping for is finally, finally coming for you. Um, this queen of Gabriel, you can do anything you want right now, go after what you want, and you have the ability to attract helpful people. So have you ever just like randomly met someone who knows the information that you've been looking for? It's not a coincidence. The universe has been trying to get y'all together. Okay, maybe you see this person come in your work all the time, but you just haven't touched on the topic before. And now that might happen or it has happened. <clears throat> and because you've been through so much, you have the ability to get the information that's important out of that person. So if you're talking about why my lawn won't grow correctly, um, that person will be able to tell you what you've done wrong and what to do right. And because you've done stuff wrong, you have that, um, you have that contrast to say, okay, this is why it didn't work out and not be mad about it. I feel like that's another thing is that you, you're able to keep your emotions in check and take the criticism that you probably couldn't have taken when you started the project. And you might have been afraid of that criticism. Um, so the ace of Raphael, this would be like the ace of um, heart or heart. The ace of the ace of water. <laughs> ace of cups, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling relationships, deep lasting spiritual insights. So this seems like you are just trying to start this new thing. You have this faith. You see your wings are spread again. You want to take this chance. Okay. So the universe, I think what the universe is saying now is that you have done so much of the stuff you needed to do to get to that point. And all that practice, all the practice, everything you've been doing is all for a reason. You might have stacks and stacks and stacks of, of tries and papers of, of like, oh, that didn't work, that didn't work, whatever. Well, that is just your building blocks to success. Because now, um, to know what does work, you have to also know what doesn't work. So, um, Knight of Gabriel, or of Ariel, there is so much to accomplish. Make a detailed plan. Okay, so... This is the Pentacles card. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is not taking not taking action yet, but he's surveying all of the things that are possible or all the avenues that he can take. And I feel like that is what you're supposed to be doing right now. Um, there might be questions that pop up in your mind. Well, what about this? Well, what about that? Write them all down and then do your research on every single question. And if you cannot find the answer, do not fret. You will find it. Sometimes you might have to say it in a different way. Um, so the star, yes. So the universe just wants you to shine. Um, believe in yourself, the end to a difficult situation, but also go out there looking for the answers. Don't just wait for them to come to you, okay? If you are shining like the star, the answers will come to you, but at the same time, you have to be shining. And to be shining, you gotta be letting your light out. You gotta be um, showing yourself. You gotta be standing in the spotlight. Um, so if you want to get some kind of um, like deal on Facebook or something, then you have to actually put yourself out there so that people can see you. Um, there's so much to be grateful for. Financial success, promise of retirement, rich and rewarding life. So I think what the universe is saying, if you do these things, do what you love, personal growth in career or artistic endeavors, working with others, cooperation, okay? These are all things that you've been working towards and that you might be hearing other readers saying the same stuff and you're like, why do I keep getting the same message? It's because you're not doing the stuff. Like if you are getting the same message in every single reading from other readers, 
you need to take a deeper look at yourself and quit listening to the videos. That is just, the videos are not, they're just t trying to tell you what you're already hearing in your head. That's what a confirmation is. Um, and I just keep seeing this <clears throat> change your life. Okay. This is um, the tower card. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunity that change brings. So all these fears that you have, you got to start looking like, oh, well, that's not as bad as I expected it to be. Oh, well, that was easy because I'm sure y'all have all had projects that you need to get done and you have just put it off, put it off, put it off. And then one morning you just get that burst of energy, you get it all done and bam, you got five things done that you've been waiting two months to do. Okay, so that kind of, that's the kind of energy that the universe is trying to make you aware of. Quit procrastinating and just get it done. And it's not pleasant feeling to get out of procrastination. You have to force yourself. And sometimes that don't feel good. Like, oh, I just want to do what makes me feel good now. Get that instant gratification. Yes, but if you want what you want in the end, you have to do the work. It's your lucky day, new resources, money, time, support. Okay, so Ace of Ariel, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? All these new ideas and these new opportunities can come to you, but you have to become available and allow them to come to you. I, you have to make yourself available. If you don't put out job applications, there no one is going to know that you need a job. You have to put yourself out there. Okay, and sometimes people might not even know they need you. So make sure that whenever, you, whatever your project is, you title it something that makes it easier for people to understand. Okay, and also the people around you, the community around you, it just needs to be one other person, two other people that support you. It can just be yourself and your spirit guides that support you. But through the brick work, as long as you are paying attention and you are trying your best, there will be people that come through and really recognize all the power and effort you've been putting through because they can relate. Maybe something you're doing is hard for people to relate to. That's okay. Um, so insights that come from quiet meditation, seek relief from stress. Okay. So I think what that card is saying is that if you are looking for the answers, you need to take time to meditate and you need to take time to quiet your mind. So if you are stressed out and you go lay down and you take a nap, you may still be stressed when you wake up. What you need to do is practice on some energy work of taking that, finding where that energy is stored and trying to breathe through it and watching it flow out of you like black energy clouds flowing out of you and white energy clouds coming in and cleansing that area. That's how you get somebody, like if somebody slimes on you at work, that's what I say when somebody comes in and they're mean, or somebody says something bad about your work when they slime on you, just let that, just work through that energy and then consider like, did they have a point? Does my thing sound like that or look like that? And if, it, if they are just jealous and being mean, then they're just jealous and being mean. But if there's some way you could improve, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't change your entire idea and move on. Um, yeah. Love and blessings fill your life. The Ten of Cups. Um, so with all that, you want this fulfilling life in front of you. And it just feels like this passion project that you've been doing for so long is not going to be the thing that makes you a million dollars, but it's going to be the catalyst that allows people to recognize that you have the power, that you are the star. And they're going to start wanting to talk to you about it because they like what you've made so much. Maybe it's a book. Maybe it's a deck. Maybe it's a product. Whatever it is, maybe you do a service for people. People are not going to understand it at first because it's new and unique. But you need to keep standing there like the star. And you need to have all the confidence in yourself before this is going to happen. You have to have a boatload of confidence. That is what the universe is saying. So just keep on keeping on and trust that this product or whatever that you're making 
is not, it's not going to make you a million dollars, but it's going to project you on the path of the fulfilling life that you are hoping for. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if this reading resonated with you, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to get enough subscribers so that I can go live and do live readings with you guys and chat. So I've had this channel for a while now. I got plenty of readings you can go watch. Um, just let me know what you think in the comments and have a good day.